Alright, we're going to be taking a look at the official marketing material regarding the Galaxy A52 and A72 that completely confirms all the major main features. From optical image stabilization to space zoom to IP67 rating, there's quite a lot to talk about. On top of all of this, we're going to be taking a look at the recent leak regarding the Galaxy Fold 3. So starting with the official marketing material, finally, both Galaxy A52 and A72 are IP67 rated. With this new rating, we're going to see what water resistance of up to 1 meter for 30 minutes. Then we have perhaps one of the most awaited features for mid-range cameras and that is optical image stabilization. So now you're not going to see shaky photos and also it's going to help massively when shooting 4K videos. Not only that, it will also improve the camera performance in low light conditions. I'm really curious to see how Samsung's new 64 megapixel lens stacks up against the 108 megapixel lens that they have given to other brands like Xiaomi and Realme. As for the display, it's now officially going to be even more brighter than ever. 800 nits of brightness on that super AMOLED Full HD Plus goodness. Samsung also promises two days of battery life. This is something that we had seen on previous models as well. 4500 mAh cell on the Galaxy A52 and 5000 on the A72. Now, one of the big differences between these two phones is that you actually get 3x optical zoom for the first time on a Galaxy A phone with the A72. This is pretty much the same zoom setup as the Galaxy S20 FE so at 3x level you're not going to see any loss of quality and you can extend that zoom further from 10x all the way up to 30x. In my testing the zoom sensor has been pretty good so I'm glad Samsung has added this on their A72 model. Again you're not going to see this on the A52 instead there's going to be a depth sensor. Now Samsung is using an octagore processor in their official marketing images they're not mentioning what the actual chip is but we do know it's the Snapdragon 7 20G. Uh, by default, it's going to offer 6 gigs of RAM, but there will be a 8GB RAM model. Uh, both A52 and A72 will pack all those legendary features like the headphone jack, micro SD card slot for storage expansion, plus getting the charger, headphones, and a protective case right out of the box. Samsung further confirms that the display is indeed super smooth, meaning we do have higher refresh rate on 4G models as well as the 5G models. As for the design, Samsung officially confirms that we'll be seeing matte finish on all Galaxy the A series model so it's actually going to look pretty good as I've experienced this on my Galaxy S21 so we'll be seeing a similar treatment with the Galaxy A series. Also Samsung will be offering some cool trading options to save money if you have the eligible device. We don't know what devices are eligible but very likely last year's Galaxy A series will be eligible in this case so now we have the complete Indian pricing leaked for both A52 and the A72 pretty much all the models so as predicted earlier the Galaxy A52 is indeed starting at $365 for the absolute base model that has 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabyte of internal storage. As for the A72, it's starting at $480 roughly. So this is the conversion from the INR to USD. Again, Samsung may not be launching these 4G models in US. We'll likely see the 5G models coming with a bit more price than what we have discussed. So there we go. Everything we talked about is officially confirmed via the official material. Also in the news, Samsung is indeed bringing S Pen to the Fold 3. We actually have a new patent leak that shows how Samsung is making the Fold 3 durable enough to withstand that external pressure. According to this patent, Samsung will be adding a rail under the main display to withstand the external pressure as well as external drops. So definitely durability will go up massively compared to last generation. Once again, as of now there is no news on Galaxy Note 21 Ultra. Samsung is pretty much setting all of its power, all of its focus on the Fold 3. So that's all the latest news. Some dope content is coming. Make sure to subscribe. Awesome event is happening tomorrow. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later.